Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today we finished putting the final touches on our Christmas tree and guess what happens when you are putting final touches on your Christmas tree? You end up with lights that don't work. And so I have a bunch of Christmas tree lights from several strands that just were not behaving and uh, my family absolutely did not want to check every single bulb to see if it was going to be working or not. And so they said, we're just going to throw these away. And I said, no. So anyway, so uh, that's really how these charms came to be. Now, uh, this is not my own original idea. I saw it on Pinterest, but for the life of me, I cannot find these again. So I don't know what happened, uh, but... If somebody knows where to find, like if there's a video or an article, but all I saw were pictures of uh, little light bulb charms that look like this and no instructions. So uh, they had little words on them. And I've actually made these way before. And what I was doing was taking an awful lot of time and I found a faster and easier way to do that. So I'm gonna share that with you now. So you're going to just, pluck the light bulbs out of your strand and then I'm going to show you some zoomed in pretty well but you you should be able to just you know if you have just a little bit of even fingernails mine are very short right now uh, but you just kind of kind of scratch that out so that you can see these two little strandy pieces and then you're going to just pull those up because it'll loosen up that little bead cap that you don't really want now you could actually do wires on top of this and I think it would look fairly decent, especially if you're doing like a green journal, but I want the clear look that those give. Now, so that's the first thing you do is you prepare your light bulbs by just kind of um, taking out the little, the little sections. So I have a few up here and these white ones, same thing. You can just see the wires a little bit better. And well, if I was in frame, you could, but since I wasn't, you probably can't. So anyway, same idea. You just do like that and it just comes right off. Now I will tell you in the beginning, I was going like this and it's a lot harder to pry these open. It doesn't look like anything, but those wires really hold all that together. So you're going to be just dumping out the little bead caps. Now some of you being creative probably can do something with those, but for me, I'm actually, believe it or not, going to toss those. And then I have some wire and this is just floral wire that I got from Michael's. And so this is, you know, part of like Michael's Makers, I guess it, you could do. Um, but this is Celebrated Wire, super cheap, $1.99 for all this. And it is actually 24 gauge, if you can see that right there. So 24 gauge, not a bad gauge to really have some pretty sturdy charms. And I did not measure, I know, shocking for those of you who have watched my videos. But uh, if I measure for you today... They are about five, five and a half inches. So, nope, they're not. I was holding that up too high. Five inches. All right, so five inch wires. And what you can do is once you cut your five inch, you can just kind of go in. I've got very cheapy, like wire cutters. You just give it a quick little cut and just make a little gathering of your wires. Okay, uh, the other thing you're going to need is these round nose pliers. So uh, wire cutters, wire, round nose pliers, and then a really beat up tube of E6000 that is ready to kind of die over here. So anyway, uh, that's what I have. So what you're going to do is to take that bead, that uh, light cap off first. And then what I do with my needle nose pliers, so once you cut this wire, it's a little sharp, you're gonna bring the wire into the little, right in, in between, so right to the end. And what you're doing is you're just turning this so that it gives it a nice little hook. And I am then putting my 
uh, putting this thing in there. Okay, so I'm just kind of hooking it in here. And uh, no, it's not hooked all the way because it, it will actually move. Um, so you just want to prepare a little spot for it that way. Okay, and then what I'm doing is just grabbing this and kind of giving it a turn so that now it's actually holding on. So if I go like this, it's holding on, but if I move it, it'll slide right off. So you wanna take your E6000 and actually give it a pretty good healthy dab. That is dry, okay. Take that healthy dab off, there we go. Now I will give it a nice healthy dab. And you can do this part at the end too if you don't wanna get glue all over your hands. You know, it just depends on what you wanna, what you feel like doing. Okay, so yes, this will get glue on your hands, which I don't think they recommend. Anyway, and then I'm gonna end up putting glue on it later too. But I kinda of like to have a little bit of glue because it gives me a little bit of sticky here so I can hold on to it. It's very slippery and can easily like fall out of your hands. So it's nice to have just a little tacky something, a little something, something. And right now all I'm doing is I am off the camera again. Okay, I am just twisting this wire. And now I'm kind of getting to the halfway mark. And then I'm just going to use my fingers and make a little loop. Oh, wait, before I do that. So now you've got these little wires that are looking kind of like a grasshopper antenna. So I'm gonna put this down because this is still wire and it'll hold on to your other wire. So you, you can scooch this up a bit so that you can kind of get that wire in there. Okay, just like that. So I just fold it up and try to get this wire to go near this so that you're just kind of flat it, flattening all that up and then I'm twisting this around the little grasshopper edge wires yeah fiddly stuff because again you're working with tiny little light bulbs all right so what I'm going to do now is try and make a little loop okay and I'm just I just looped it around with my hands nothing magical and but now i'm going to hold it kind of by the loop and then go all the way around okay and when you go all the way around you're going to end up with this little kind of part right here that sticks out and i'm going to take my needle nose again and so i'm not stabbing myself with it every time i pick up a charm I'm using the tiny skinny ends and I'm just gonna give it a little round so that if I don't even wanna hang another charm that I can do that right there. And I see the little tiny wires. I'm gonna just tuck those guys in too. And then this, I'm just gonna straighten out so that it sticks up. And now I'm going to give it some E6000 on there, wherever. And if you've got it glopped on, just you, know, you can smooth it out with your hands a little bit. There we go. But you want it to be glopped on so that you can have the wire stick to this thing. Now, if I just left it like this, it it would stay and I can actually add it to my my junk journal just the way it is. But what I was doing is just kind of taking a little piece of plastic whoa, and just setting it aside. And uh, they don't have to be nice and neat. They can be a little kind of whirly twirly. And uh, this was drying overnight and it's very sturdy on there because E6000 will glue to glass and it will, uh, you can glue glass and metal. So I have something like this too. Now on this guy, I have a little bit of black and gold um, washi tape. It's actually really cool. So this is very cheap off of Amazon and you get these kind of ends um, that 
basically are cut off of larger washi rolls and washi tape rolls. And so you can um, use something like this. And if you're using washi, you know, it doesn't always stick that great. So you may have to fortify that with some E6000. But if you want to use it, I mean, it looks it looks really fantastic. This is more like an Art Deco look, I think. What do you think? That's not too bad. And then, here, let me go in a little bit more. Okay, so um, there's that one. This is like a, it's like got a crisscross hash kind of a thing. And then when I made these originally, what I did was... Um, you find tiny little text. Now I've cleaned up for Thanksgiving, so I can't find anything. But you just um, cut little words out of a book or book pages, and then you just glue those on there. Also using E6000. So possibilities are endless, and you can make a bunch of these and just have them sitting off to the side and just add a, a chain or something. So I'm going to probably put a couple of these together and uh, show you how I use it in a junk journal. And you can also use those little uh, lamp kind of um, safety pins. And um, I've made some little bottle tabs. And I mean, how cute would that look? Just hanging off of that, you know, something like that. So it can be its own jewelry. It can, uh, my daughter actually wants me to make her some earrings out of these for Christmas. I think that'd be so adorable. And so you can use a little bit of washi to make this look exactly like with your color scheme for your junk journals or whatever way you want. So these are just plain. You can use gold wire. You can use silver. You can use bronze, you know, copper, whatever floats your boat. I kind of like this dull antique gold but i also like it because of the price and it's super cheap for a whole bunch of stuff and you are recycling these guys and not tossing them away and what a wonderful little craft to do for your junk journals or just for jewelry making so take your old christmas lights and turn them into something so cute and adorable and i hope you like this craft and if you have some better ideas, which I know you do, would you just share those with me? Because I'm always looking for a way to make things easier, faster, and better. And so until next time, um, have, a, have a great holiday season. Bye-bye.